Hello everyone. Welcome to Power System Production course. In this lecture, we will discuss about the over current protective schemes. So before going to the over protective schemes, uh, let us recall the different over current relays available. We have the ins uh, instantaneous over current relay. We have the inverse time over current relay and uh, IDMT over current relay, very inverse uh, over current relay and uh, extremely inverse time over current. So these are the different over current relays available for uh, uh, over current protection. And here let us understand how this over current protective schemes are applied to the protection to the any uh, power system equipment. So mainly this over current protective schemes are widely used for the protection of the distribution lines. So in order to understand this, let us consider a radial feeder which may be uh, sectionalized and uh, two or more uh, over current relays may be used. So here you can observe this is a radial feeder. So this is sectionalized into three parts. Okay. So one relay for the production of each section of the feeder. So you can observe uh, at the C section, they, we have a own protected device here. Uh, this is a protected device. This is shown in the uh, figure here. So we have three sections here, section A, section, section AB, section BC and section beyond C. So if there is any fault occurs beyond C, which means uh, from here to till here, if there is any fault occurs beyond C, then the circuit breaker at substation C, at the substation C should trip. The circuit breaker at A and B, the circuit breakers at A and B should not trip as far as the normal operation is concerned. So if the relay at C, if for any faults, if the relay at C fails, uh, if the faults beyond uh, C, if the relay at C fails to operate, relay at C fails to operate, then the circuit breaker B should trip as a backup protection. Similarly, if a fault occurs between B and C, section B and C, the circuit breaker at B should trip and the circuit breaker A should not trip. But in case if a failure in operation of the relay at uh, um, uh, substation B, then the circuit breaker A should, a should trip. So this is the how the over current uh, uh, protect, uh, protective schemes are used for the distribution lines. So thus it is seen that the relays must be very selective with each other. So for, for uh, proper selectivity of the relays, one of the following schemes can be employed depending on the system conditions. So we have three, uh, three schemes. One is uh, time graded system. Next one is current graded system. And the last one is a combination of the time and uh, current graded systems. So let us understand these three time graded, current graded and combination of time and current graded. So time graded system. So in this scheme, uh, we use the definite time over current relays are used. Uh, when a definite time relay operates for a fault current, it starts a timing unit which trips the circuit breaker after a preset value. That which means the definite time over current relays operates for a, a definite time, a definite preset time. So if there is any fault current, the timing unit will start and it will give the tripping signal to the circuit breaker so which is independent of the magnitude of the fault current which is independent of the magnitude of the fault current and the operating time of the relays is adjusted in increasing order from the far end of the feeder so this is shown in the figure you can observe here the operating time for <coughs> the section beyond c it is 0.5 seconds uh, between section b and c it is one second between sections a and b it is 1.5 seconds. So if there is any fault occurs uh, beyond C, beyond C, the fault current will flow through the uh, relay A, relay B, right? The if there is any fault beyond C, uh, do, uh, at this part, the fault current will flow from A to B, B to C. So the relay at C should trip for uh, ideal operation. Uh, it will take 0.5 seconds to trip the circuit. 
if the relay c fails to identify the fault current and fails to operate operates then the breaker at <coughs> relay at uh, section b section bc will come into picture and it will take 1 seconds and it will trip the circuit similarly if the relay at um, b also fails relay at b also fails then the relay at a will come into picture and it will trip the circuit so this is called as time graded system where it depends on the timings the uh, we have given a difference in timings for each relays so if there is any fault between the section b and c the relay at b substation b uh, the circuit breaker should trip if the b fails to operate then a will take a 0.5 seconds extra and it will wait uh, if the relay at b does not operate it will wait for 0.5 seconds and it will the relay at a will operate so we, it may be possible to reduce this time uh, that is these uh, time differences that is we have 0.5 time differences for each sections so we can reduce this to either to 0.4 section 0.4 seconds or 0.3 seconds so this is about the time graded system next we have the current graded system so in this scheme uh, the relays used are the instantaneous over current relays so the relays are set to pick up at uh, progressively higher values of current towards the source in this case the the relays are set to pick up that is the set current will be progressively higher values towards the source so, so this is the towards the source okay in case of the time graded system you can observe one, the one of the drawback of this scheme is so if there is a huge current if there is a huge current uh, beyond uh, c c section then the at this source end this is the source end the equipments connected at the source ends may get damaged since it will take uh, much time to trip the uh, circuit circuit from the uh, faulty part from the healthy part so it will take around 1.5 seconds which means which may damage the equipments connected at the source end so this is overcome overcome in the current graded system where we use the instantaneous over current relays the operating time is kept the same for all the relays here so in order to protect the different sections of the feeder this is shown in the figure here you can observe here so section a and b b c and beyond c the operating time characteristics are here we have the time characteristics of the instantaneous over current relay the current setting for for a relay corresponds to the fault current uh, fault current level for the feeder section to be protected so we will see what is this 80 percent <clears throat> so ideally the relay b should trip for any faults between uh, b and c uh, if there is any faults between b and c the relay at b should trip similarly if there is any fault beyond c the relay at c should trip similarly if there is any fault between a and b the relay at uh, a should trip so uh, this is the ideal operation so this ideal operation is not achieved due to the some of the reasons uh, one is the relay at a is not able to discriminate between the faults very close to b which may be on the either side of b uh, if your fault in the section bc is very close to the section b and the relay at a understand that it is in its section ab and this happens due to the fact that uh, there is very little difference in the fault currents if a fault occurs at the uh, end of the each section that is ab or in the beginning of the section that is bc so which means the ideal operation may not be take uh, takes place because of the uh, drawback that so if the fault occurs very at the boundary of section b and or at the boundary of section a then what happens the relay at a senses that uh, it is not belong to this uh, this section and uh, similarly the relay at b senses that it belongs to this section so there may be a little confusion for the relays to operate 
so due to that uh, the ideal operation may not take place and the magnitude of the fault current cannot be accurately determined for as all the circuit parameters uh, may not be known during the fault the all the circuit parameters may not be known so magnitude of the current cannot be accurately determined and during a fault there is a transient conditions and the performance of the relays is not accurate so in order to obtain obtain the proper discrimination the relays are set to protect only a part of the feeder only part of the feeder that is usually 80 per 80% since you can see here so only 80% of the section is protected with the help of the instantaneous over current relays the remaining is protected with the help of the uh, idmt relays so this uh, uh, current graded scheme cannot be used alone this system cannot be used alone it may be used in conjunction with the idmt relays so here you can see 80% of the section uh, section ab is protected by the instantaneous current relays and uh, remaining uh, is protected by the help of the idmt relays so this is about the uh, current graded system lastly we have the combination of current and time grading so in this scheme this is most widely used protect, uh, protection or protection scheme for the distribution lines here idmt relays are employed in this scheme so in case of the time graded system we have uh, used the definite time over current relays in case of current graded system uh, instantaneous relays in conjunction with the idm relays are used in case of the combination of current and time grading uh, we use only idm relays so they have the combined features of current and time grading the idm relays have current as well as time setting arrangement so that's why we use idm relays the current setting of the relay is made according to the fault current levels of the particular section to be protected the current settings uh, are made according to the uh, fault level fault current levels of a particular section to be protected and the relays are set to pick up progressively at higher current levels towards the source so uh, the time time setting is also done in a progressively increasing order towards the source the difference in the operating times of two adjacent relays is kept around 0.5 seconds so the type of the relays we use it depends on the <coughs> system characteristics where if the source impedance is smaller uh, than the load impedance then we can use the inverse time current characteristic uh, over current relays if the uh, source impedance is larger compared to the uh, load impedance then we can use the definite time characteristic uh, over current relays and uh, an idmt relay idmt characteristic relay is is a compromise uh, at uh, lower uh, values of fault current its characteristics is uh, inverse time characteristics and at higher values of fault current it gives a definite time characteristics so this is about the over current protective schemes thanks for watching